Hi everybody. The hardest part of buying the home from your landlord is getting the price right, of course. One of the easiest ways to set the price is to get your landlord to agree to base the price on an appraisal. Later on in this course, we have a whole section on appraisals and appraisers. It's a deep subject. But right now, I just want to talk about how to find a good appraiser. Finding a good appraiser is surprisingly complex. In another video, you will talk about the standard lender's appraisal, which is usually done weeks after the contract is negotiated. Now we're talking about how to find an appraiser to do a non-standard pre-appraisal before you negotiate the price. It's easier to find a good mortgage loan officer or a home inspector than it is to find a good real estate appraiser. That's because your friends who have recently bought homes worked one-on-one -on -one with their loan officers and their home inspectors but they never even spoke to the bank's appraiser who appraised their home. In normal sales, home buyers never talk to appraisers because the appraisers work for the lenders, not for the home buyers. Personal recommendations are usually a great way to go, but when it comes to appraisers, your friends usually don't know any appraisers. Your best personal recommendations for real estate appraisers will probably come from people in the business like real estate attorneys, real estate agents, and loan officers. If you're going the pre-appraisal route, however, you're likely also going to go the real estate attorney route instead of the real estate agent route. So the first time you talk to your real estate attorney, be sure and ask for names of good appraisers if you don't already have any good appraisers on your team. What do you do when you don't have any personal recommendations or you only have one or two names and you want more names to choose from? Well, you go to the internet, of course. <laughs> the best place to start is the appraisalinstitute.org. The Appraisal Institute is an association of professional real estate appraisers. It's not the only trade association for appraisers, but it's the largest. Their website is quirky, but with some work you can find a lot of great information about appraisers. Go to their find an appraiser page and go down to advanced search. Put in your county or your zip code. If you put in your zip code, you can put in a geographic range. The default is to search for appraisers within 20 miles of the zip code. In accepts fee assignments, select yes. That way you'll only see names of appraisers who might work for you. It eliminates from the list appraisers who are employees of banks or whatever and only do appraisals for the companies they work for. Next, go to Designation. Select SRA, as in Senior Residential Appraiser. This helps you find the more experienced appraisers who specialize in residential real estate appraisals. Appraisers appraise the value of all sorts of real estate, from office buildings to warehouses to hotels to farms and a lot more. You want appraisers who specialize in residential real estate, and most appraisers with the SRA designation do. So, click Search. Hopefully, you'll get a good number of appraisers to choose from. The one thing I found confusing and really annoying about their find an appraiser results was that it would show me some appraisers who were far away from the zip code or county I put in. Some were even out of state. At the top of every appraiser, it says within 50 miles or over 50 miles, which confuses the hell out of me because I didn't select 50 miles anywhere. And if I did, why would it be showing me appraisers more than 50 miles away? I told you the Appraisal Institute was quirky. Anyway, double check the location of the appraisers at the bottom of the list. They may be way too far away. If the list of appraisers is too short and you need more to choose from, try this. Hit Edit Search Criteria, make Designation Blank, then go down to Residential Property Types and choose Any Residential. This will select all appraisers who say they do residential appraisers, both those with the SRA designation and those without. If you still don't find enough appraisers, you might just have to search online on Google for real estate appraisers and residential appraisers in your town and see what you find. Now let's go back to the Appraisal Institute's Find an Appraiser results page. You want to focus on appraisers who focus on residential appraisals. They show they do all kinds of appraisals like commercial and industrial appraisals. That means they don't specialize in residential appraisals. 
By the way, if you're in a small town or a rural area, you may not be able to find an appraiser who specializes exclusively in residential appraisers. So just try to find appraisers with a lot of experience in residential. If you click on the appraiser's name, you'll get a lot more information. You can see the primary locations they work and what types of properties they appraise. If they have a website listed, definitely check it out. So let's say you find several appraisers in your area that look like they specialize in residential appraisals. Now's the time to touch base with them so you can narrow down your list to three that you can send to your landlord if that's how you're choosing an appraiser. You can call or email the appraisers. Appraisers tend to be numbers people, but in your case, it's especially important that they're also good communicators who can clearly explain how they came to their appraised value to both you and your landlord. Your email or phone conversation with appraisers you might be checking out might go something like this. Hi, I found your name on the Appraisal Institute website and I see that you're an SRA and specialize in residential appraisals. I rent a 1,500 square foot single family home at 123 Oak Street. I'm talking with my landlord about possibly buying the home for my landlord. I plan to send my landlord the names of three appraisers and my landlord will select one for us to use. We would each pay you half your fee directly to you. After we see the appraised value, my landlord and I will decide whether we want to move forward with the sale. Would you be interested in this kind of job? If so, can you tell me what your fees are and what kind of turnaround time we should plan on? If you aren't interested in the job, could you recommend other appraisers you think would be a good fit for us. Thank you so much for your time. Sincerely, me. Hopefully you'll be able to find at least three good residential appraisers this way. If you're planning on sending your list of three appraisers to your landlord, I'd suggest providing links to each appraiser's profile on the Appraisal Institute website. Just grab the URL on the pop-up and include those URLs in the email. I'd also suggest that you download their resumes from the Appraisal Institute website and include their resumes, their PDF resumes, as attachments in the email to your landlord. That should help your landlord decide which appraiser to select. That should also help your landlord feel more confident about the expertise of these appraisers and to have greater trust in the accuracy of the appraisal that you end up getting. Okay, here's an email. Dear landlord, <laughs> here are three good licensed or certified or whatever your state does, appraisers I found who specialize in residential appraisers and who have experience appraising single family homes or whatever your home is in our zip code. They all belong to professional appraiser associations and have worked for individual buyers and sellers before, not just banks. Well, if that's true. I selected them based on their experience, not their price. They all look good to me. Let me know which one you choose and then put a link to all the appraiser's profile on the Appraisal Institute website and the appraiser's website if they have one. Attached are PDFs of their resumes. Feel free to talk to them directly before choosing one. Fees. Discuss what you know about their fees and put that in the email so the, your landlord knows what we're talking about here on price-wise. We were talking about both of us paying half the appraisal fee directly to the appraiser. Once I know which appraiser you choose, I'll call the appraiser, pay my half, and I'll try to get a written commitment from the appraiser on when the appraisal report will be in our hands. Once the appraiser has been paid in full up front, they'll schedule the job. The turnaround time for a written appraisal report is usually around seven days, but it depends on the appraiser's schedule. Okay, the next steps. One, you choose one of the three appraisers. Two, we both pay our halves directly to the chosen appraiser. Three, about a week later, we both receive the appraisal report. Four, after we review the appraisal, we see if we can come to an agreement on price. If we do come to an agreement on price and want to move forward with the sale, I'll find an attorney or an agent to help me draft a written offer for you to review. Feel free to call me if you have any questions. Okay, that was the email to the landlord. Hopefully your landlord won't flake out and your landlord will choose an appraiser. Your landlord will pay their half to the appraiser and the two of you will be able to come to an agreement more or less on price. 
Don't forget to mention when you're talking about price with your landlord, the other stuff that was previously tentatively agreed to. For example, that everything currently in and on the property comes with the home, like the refrigerator and the washer and dryer, and that the landlord will contribute X percent of the sales price towards your closing costs and prepaid, or whatever was tentatively agreed to previously, like how to handle the uh, rental deposits. Sometimes people accidentally on purpose forget previous conversations you had with them. Remember, nothing's really agreed to until it's agreed to in writing. Until it's in writing, it's just talk. Finding good appraisers is a lot more work than finding good home inspectors, but it's very doable. It'll just take a few hours to several hours of your time online, on the phone, and exchanging emails.